Welcome along then to the first of our races here at the Diamond Jubilee meeting at Carlson Coombe. We're on board with Rob Manger in the Austin A35 on the green flag lap. Rolling start for the 50s invitation race, the Masters Historic Racing 1950s invitation race. The kind of cars that you would have seen racing 60 years ago here at Carlson Coombe and indeed up and down the country. And I can promise you a very colourful race, a very colourful programme coming up here today. A good varied mixture of machines and races for you to enjoy. I said colourful. Here we go then down to Camp Corner and onto the start finish line past the Strawford Centre and down into Folly to get the first race of the weekend underway. This one, our 45 minute race, we're going to bring you some of the key cars that are taking part. There is the number 12 Tom Harris Jaguar. Mark 7, also had a quick glimpse of Colin Newell in the XK120 number 41. And down to Quarry Corner for the first time, with Rob Manger giving us uh, an excellent view of the varied cars that are here. Now, so on then to our second race and it's the Masters Historic Racing 1960s invitation race for the Ron Fry Trophy. Pole position going to Alan Tice and Chris Connolly in the Marcus 1800 GT. David Smithies and Chris Clarkson in the Austin Healey three litre car alongside. The Galliers Pratt Blakeney Jaguar E-Type on the second row with Peter Sugden on the outside. Rob Hartley in the Mustang on the inside of row three and then it's the Gavin Henderson, Ted Williams shared AC Cobra on the outside of row three but we're underway and a cracking start from Alan Tice in the Marcus 1800 GT gets the better of David Smithies as they come down through Folly, down at up Avon Rise towards Quarry Corner for the first time but Smithies having a look on the outside it's going to be a big, big break, <laughs> breaking session there from the Marcus. Brilliant driving, uh, very, very wide. And Smithies tucks himself up the inside. Look at the variety of machinery we've got here. Really is a splendid sight. 27, Nick Naismith and John Young in the Aston Martin DB4. Stephen Bond in the Elan. Um, Christian Devereux and Rupert Ivy sharing the Mini Cooper. Henry Mann in the Lotus Cortina. Into the lead goes the Marcus, but has he overdone it? Yes, he has into Quarry Corner. That is definitely not what we come to see. We do come to see the cars being pushed hard, but very, very sadly for the 119 car of Alan Tyson, Chris Connolly, that Marcus is, has a fair bit of damage on it. You can see Marshall's uh, on scene very quickly if assistance was needed. And a massive, massive thanks to the Marshalls for doing a wonderful job. But... Uh, very, very sadly, the 1800 really was giving David Smithies a run for his money. Cars on the grid then for race two of the weekend for the Castle Coombe Sports and GT Championship. And race one winner, we didn't see race one unfortunately, and it's particularly unfortunate for Andrew Shanley, who won that race in his Radical Pro, Sco Pro Sport. Problems with the engine for him, meaning he doesn't make the start of this one. Pole position therefore goes to Darcy Smith, the number two car. And behind him, Josh Fisher in the 81 car, the Mantis Sports Racing Machine. 15 laps ahead for these cars. Looks like everybody making a good start. Nobody certainly stalling on the grid, but look at that. It's Josh Fisher in red that leads away. Looking up the inside is Mike Roberts in blue, but I think Darcy Smith got the better of him as they go up Avon Rice for the first time. So, Josh Fisher leads. Now, is he going to be headed because he had a, a very smart race yesterday, finished third? but was beaten by Darcy Smith. Darcy running in the invitation class. Everybody through Quarry Corner for the first time, safe and well. We'll probably pick up a couple of runners as they come through. There's the Whites, Darian, 52, Phil Dale, and 82, James Turner in the VW Golf, which gives you an idea of the different sorts of cars that are catered for in this championship. Class A for sports racing cars up to two litres. Class B, highly modified sports and saloon cars. Class C, production-based sports and saloon cars. Class I, the invitation class. Competitors invited by the Castle Coombe Racing Club. Now we're on board here with the Lotus Exige of Mark Fennell. And he's one of the top-running drivers. Mark finishing eighth in yesterday's race, winning Class B and adding to his Class B championship lead this year. 
there is Mark being chased down by now there's a driver there Andy Tidy who finished sixth position yesterday and those two isn't expected and there in 23 keep your eyes on him that's Simon Tilling not a good start from Simon starting third on the grid we go on board with the Radical SR3 RS and he's looking down the inside of Andy Tidy trying to go through on the inside of Tidy it's a tidy line you might say he's gone through he's made up that position but Tidy's got him back well, Andy Tidy in the Radical Pro Sport definitely not keen on giving up that position, racing hard for it. And on to the Meditrax Trophy, which is the Castle Coombe historic anniversary trophy for 1950s and 1960s cars. You will notice the exception to that rule because specially invited to take part in this event is the Ford Cologne Capri of Vince Woodman from the 1970s and uh, Vince a legend well a legend in British motorsport let alone here at Castle Coombe and he's planted the Capri on pole position incredible Vince is nearly 72 years of age pole position 1 minute 16.831 the pole position time Graham Dodd alongside him in the Janetta G16 David Smith is in the Austin Healy on the inside of row 2 with Eric Woolley in the Mark 1 Ford Escort alongside him too and away and as expected the Cologne Capri into the lead massive lead over Graham Dodd as they go down through Folly up into Avon Rice down towards Corey for the first time but tell you what the Janetta G16 having to go down the inside Graham Dodd through on the inside as they come down into Quarry for the first time now out of Quarry onto Farm Straight David Smithies is there in third look at the very eclectic field going through Eric Woolley in the Mark 1 Escort has lost a couple of places. He's, there's Paul Conway in the Morgan Plus 8 as well. Going into the S's for the first time. Then out of the S's down towards Old Paddock Bend. And Woodburn now loses the lead. And David Smith is coming up and having a go for second position. But also joining in, that's Ross Maxwell. Ross Maxwell in the Chevron B8. The little red car at the back of the field is there. Now, Ross didn't qualify too well. 16th on the grid, Ross Maxwell. He's up into fourth. And he's going to convert that into third. As they go into Bobby's. Into Bobby's. Maxwell up into third place. David Smith is second. Vince Woodburn in fourth position. Great stuff then. Then it's George Douglas, I think, in the... George Douglas in the Janetta G16, but up into second position now. Fantastic stuff from Ross Maxwell into second position. Vince Woodman in the Meditrax Cologne Capri down in fourth place at the moment. Castle Coombe Saloon Car Championship grid coming out now, and a very, very good entry once again in this class. Would you believe we've got 33 cars on the grid for this one? Great, superb mixture of cars, very eclectic mix and the championship for competitors driving saloon cars and coupes four classes so a very good uh, class structure put together by the Castle Coombe Racing Club to even things up with the uh, bigger more powerful cars against the smaller cars which tend to be at the back of the field and as you can see an absolutely stacked grid ready to give us some entertainment here and we're just going to wait for the lights to come on pole position going to Brian Cox from Kevin Bird, Brian Cox in the red Mitsubishi Evo. Good start. We've got we've got a staller there. Oh, no problem. Geraldine Duff has rolled her car. Geraldine Duff. It was it was Rick Rolls that was uh, the staller on the grid, and it was Geraldine and in the middle of the front of the pack as well. Dear, oh dear, that's a big one. Julian Ellison in the 62 car has a big run. Of, there's a big aftermath to that one as well. Uh, spectacular for the fans, but not really what we want to see here at Coombe. Loads of damage. Hopefully the drivers are all going to be OK. But the 62 car, Julian Ellison, going upside down. So two rollovers in one start. You very off, very rarely see one. Here's the onboard from Will Di Claudio's car. And you can see he's following Eddie Benton Saxo, who gets out of the way. Maybe a bit of damage on, on uh, Benton Saxo. But Lady Race Geraldine Duff gets involved there. Here's the one at the front end of the pack. You can see it all just kicks off. Poor old. Dear, oh dear. That's not good at all. Poor old Julian Ellison in the 62 car, right in the mix. And uh, the man from Devices in the Swindon Volvo racing, Volvo S40, winds up the right way up, but slightly perched on the tyres. And he is out of it, along with Adrian Slade, the driver of the number 40 car running in Class C, the man from Devices in the MGZR. 
but uh, we're going to get ready for start number two. Lights off now. Front row, remember Kevin Bird in the red sayer. Now on board with Will DiClaudio, already past one car. He's having a real good run, past Benton, past Jamie Dickox as well. Now the next uh, car up front, there he goes through, down the inside line. That's number five, Russell Pointer. Russell Pointer Brown, who leads Class D, leads the championship with 26 points. And De Claudio makes very short work of him. Now the next car is the 44 Ford Fiesta, 1400cc Fiesta of Will Burns. Down the inside line, De Claudio through on the inside. De Claudio second in Class C. Brake lights on from the car in front. Let's see what Will could do. He's starting a little bit further back than he's used to. Now looking up the inside line and making good progress, as is the race leader. Brian Cox getting away from the second place car. That's Jason Cooper in the Fiesta in second position. Third is Kevin Bird. Fourth in orange there is Tony Dolly, very much a local hero here at Castlecombe. Castlecombe's 60th anniversary programme is brought to you in association with Meditracks.